there everyone so I'm back to do another video for y'all uh, right now I'm going to do a video on basically um, my mini lathe and um, over here I got the wood lathe set up missing a couple parts but they're the parts I found out are pretty darn cheap so I'll be replacing some of the parts. Uh, basically, here, the piece that goes in there, it's kind of like this one, right? This one here actually would go. Oh. Yeah, see, the, it would go like that, but this one here is actually a little bit uh, larger in there. And normally it'd fit kind of snug. Um, let me give you an idea. Let me just roll this off real quick. And because I, I can't put that on with this here on there. But if I set that off to the side, take that, put that in there. See how it kind of fits in there kind of snug has a slow taper uh, same thing with that side so uh, they make a lot of different th uh, parts and uh, adapters that go on either side so and this one here's a wood lathe and uh, it used to be stored back up there in the corner for about two years um, had a uh, accidentally smashed this and so I had to take that off and tap it with the hammer and get it back into shape and man this thing is super quiet it's it it spins nice first time ever turning it on never turned it on before and it works good I did take some sandpaper and uh, some uh, fairly smooth sandpaper there it is and uh, sanded this down a little bit. It was, it was pretty rough. So now it's, nice. it's pretty smooth. It's not like glass or anything, obviously, but it's uh, pretty smooth. So uh, this one here, I just got this one. It's brand new now. If you guys are going to get one of these, which I, if you do a lot of tinkering and you like to work on stuff, and you like to modify and uh, to in order to make something better than what it already is, but without like destroying it, get one of these. Now, guarantee you, you are going to need to do work. You can't just use it like this right out of the box or your work is going to be <laughs> embarrassing as all hell. Um, you need to replace uh, this piece here, all right? Replace that. Then you need to uh, do a lot of mo modifications to your cross slide here, all right? Uh, same with this here. And uh, then moving over here. Oh, hell yeah, you got to do some work on this too. Yep, you sure do. And the piece in here, uh, usually they're bone dry. Uh, you're going to have to modify this because, let me see if I get a picture uh, down here. I'll probably have to loosen something on this. I'm using a tripod right now, so bear with me. Alrighty. So, down here, you'll see the gap here. Let me use a pointer here so you guys can see. See the gap there? Look at the gap over here. See that? So your uh, your your stuff here is going to be shifted, you know, which means uh, your cut isn't going to be straight. Which means uh, work is going to need to be done, you know. Just you know, that's all there is to it. Um. Each lathe has its own problems, is what I'm guessing. But all of them, you need to replace that. You need to do work on this, and this, and that. Uh, the motor as well, um, it does come with some nice parts. 
you know, uh, we've got some metal uh, gears here. Oh, and uh, you you might get, when you get yours, um, you're probably going to be missing parts. You're going to be missing parts. All right? Like parts. Okay? There's going to be uh, some, a lot of play in there. A lot of play. So you're going to have to modify your uh, bolt in there. You know, because there's a... Uh, little nut in there that this here slides on you know that the screw goes into you know um i'm not i'm not you know real familiar i i just got this i'm learning as i go but uh the actual name at eh, yeah you know it's early in the morning give me a break <laughs> but there is a screw long screw kind of like kind of like this screw here but shorter, smaller, and it goes in here. Another one there. And uh, basically it will, you know, anyhow, that bolt you're gonna need to modify if you don't like this, all right? See all that? It, it That's how much slop is in there, how much play, you know? So you're gonna need to modify a few things. Um, this here definitely so yeah but um i like tinkering you know i already found most of the stuff i already found a lot of videos on how to modify and all that i already found this here now this here is it's pretty good you know but it's only a three chuck and i already found the four chuck it's like uh 60 bucks something like that on amazon i'll be replacing that um the key for it um is right here all right the key for it uh has a spring on it you're going to need to take uh, well some people they take it off some people leave it on um basically it's so that when you put uh this here in uh you don't forget about it and it goes blink you know when you turn it on so um that's what the spring is for um of course uh if you're very forgetful and you forget within a couple seconds that it's on there and when you go to push your button and and you don't and and, and you forget that you can't see i mean that that is in there then there's something wrong with you <laughs> you know you you are way distracted and yeah so don't leave don't leave you know that in there you know yeah um so there we go uh a lot of different parts oh yeah and it comes with a, a light um of course i haven't uh charged up the battery um it does come with the battery and i got a charger for this um what is this battery anyhow let's take a look holy crap this is it's no name no it doesn't say anything about the water damn this thing is like super light there's like yeah uh, i i got plenty of these let me show you here um got a bunch of them in here Yep. So, one of these. Um, this here, pretty decent. And then I got uh, where's where's my where's my e -fets? Take this one. Or ah, here we are. This one here is a real good one. E fest. You know, very high wattage. You know, and that's what this charger here is for. I need to dust it off. But yeah, um, for, you know, it, 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 uh, it has uh, high amps. I think, what is it, 40 amp? Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, 35. Um, 35 amp. I think I got some 40s in here somewhere. Let me see which one. That's the E-Fest. E-Fest has this little, little 
thing right there. And the other ones don't. I think these are 40. Yeah, here's a 40. These here are pretty darn good. Anyhow, got those. Um, actually, I'm just going to take one of these. These here are already charged. So I'm going to take one of these. Come over here. And I will... Yeah, yeah, perfect fit, okay. So I'll just put that in there for later. So there we go. Um, you are gonna need some tools. Um, this here I got, it's a, a thread gauge. So you can figure out your what threads you need and all that. You'll need a bunch of different stuff, you know, different calipers and um, it, this here is not a one day chore. Um, this here is more like over time <laughs> type of chore. Now I did get this. Here, let me uncover that. Got that. It's it's a Harbor Freight drill press, but it's it's good. Yeah, you know, shouldn't have no problems. Uh, got this uh, milling uh, table here. Um, I will be getting, getting a milling vise as well. You know, I figured that's probably not a bad idea. And I got everything bolted down pretty good. Um, yeah. So, um, I usually like to keep this over it because I have my uh, ventilation fan there. And I didn't want uh, to move this too far over this way because I want to have this right in the center. And I still got this one here. I need to go through it and uh, clean it up and all that. So I'll do. I'll be doing that later. Um, still working on the bike. No problem there. Um, down here, I modified a lot of stuff. As you see here, um, the bike, the mini bike that was right here, that is no longer there. I sold that. Um, I hope that guy knows what he's doing because it doesn't seem like it. Um, my little table that used to sit over here, I put it right here. And just for fun, this is my air rifle. This is the FX Impact M3, Thir uh, 35 cal or nine millimeter. You know, and uh, it's pretty nice. Um, this stool here, I redid it. It was, it's an old one. So basically, when I have a seat here, now going right through there when I open up the doors and then I have a double gate and I open up those and going further out about 20 21 yards give or take um actually probably a little bit more because uh yeah um i have a target out there so i use the target you know just just for fun just to have a little bit of fun um i do have my chronograph right there i have the my tablet here and that's all connected so i can you know, just do a little bit of target practice. Uh, I do have my range finder there. And this is how many, uh, these are slugs, you know, the FX uh, 30 cal, or 35 cal uh, slugs. And uh, that's how many I've used, about half. So, not bad. Um, my scope, I do need to, actually I need to take off this ring here. <laughs> Because uh, the uh, eyepiece that goes on here, oh my god, that just drives me absolutely nuts. Trying to, you know, let's see, there we go. That's much better. Um, trying to uh, put my eye up to it and move around and trying to, it's like, uh, I don't, I'm not feeling that. I, I don't like the eyepiece that close to my eye it, it you know 
I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. But I do, it's a little bit tilted. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but uh, it's tilted off to the side. Um, I do need to move it and uh, bring it, you know, straight again, you know. It, yeah. <laughs> so, um, this table here, uh, my stepfather gave it to me. Um, it's an old, uh, it's like an old military table. And what I did was it had four legs. However, they're so close. I mean, my knees, you know, you have to like, you know, and I was like, nah, nah, nah. You know, so I cut the legs off, welded a piece of flat stock on all the way across and then did some bracing underneath did some bracing and uh welded this leg right in the middle i measured it to try to get as centered absolutely centered as possible that way i can go right up on that no problem you know so i figured perfect that'll work you know that way I could get closer up on the table if I need to. I could get further back if I need to. Not bad. Not bad at all. And the stool, it's got this like mushroom padding on it. It's very comfortable. You know, it's very old. I The uh, padded piece that used to be on there, it used to be uh, like this one here. Uh, super thin, small cheap wood it broke took it off you know found a piece of plywood put it on there used it as a table a really crappy one at that until just recently i was like you know what i need a stool that is mine you know because everybody else uses this one or or that chair i want one that's specifically mine for this you know nobody sits on it somebody comes up there and says Oh, I'm going to have a cigarette. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? <laughs> so, it's like, uh-uh. And then, over here, if you've seen my other videos, this table here, completely cluttered, full of crap and junk, cleared it completely off, everything. Put uh, the laptop, put the uh, my other air gun. Actually, I have a piece coming in should be coming in either today or tomorrow just like this i have another air gun coming in um it's on back order um you guys are probably gonna really like that it's a hats and blitz uh semi and full automatic so i got a bunch of stuff for that gun um i already got a lot of ammunition uh the ammo for it is actually everything most of everything is in this bag here and uh actually i do not want this bag up here ah, oh, that thing's heavy that's got a little bit of weight um got a my shoulder here is not the greatest um i injured both of my shoulders so um never went to the doctor for it um I don't trust doctors, uh, well, I don't trust doctors and I don't trust their offices. Um, people go there when they're sick. You stay there too long, you're gonna get sick. That's the way I see it. Um, this here is a shoulder strap. And I believe it comes with something for shoulder strap thing. Can't remember, all right, so these here. Are some pellets 30 cal that dirty 30 <laughs> Eric Gunleshy man check him out he's awesome he does uh, pest control he has man he's in a way he's lucky but in a way it's like not but um, his place is just full of rodents you know and then, of course, got the poly mags. Now, 
when I uh, get the, um, let's see what this is. When I get the gun in, I, um, hold on a sec. Oh yeah. Uh, leaves springs or no nope, no nope, no nope. they're risers. Oh, when I get the uh, the gun in, it'll come with uh, the magazines, and I ordered these ones. Now the magazines that it comes with, it's just you know the the normal round ones, but with you can do and I seen another guy do this on YouTube is he takes off the cover goes over to his milling table and takes off a little bit of you know that plastic on the underside mills that down because you can't use poly mags because of that tip right there that red tip makes it a little bit longer so it gets in the way but what, and, and it's just a little bit in the way, but what he does is he mills it down, the, the cover, so that they will fit. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. So, got um, some of those. I figured that's not a bad idea. And uh, not only did I get one of these, but I actually got two of them. And what else is in here? Oh. More ammunition. Figure that's not a bad idea right there. Now, that uh, air gun, um, it'll go through these pretty quick. It'll go through a tin pretty quick. And then, yep. <laughs> there we go. Got some of those too. Now I've had the, oh yeah, I haven't opened these yet. They're still taped closed. closed. Um, I, I've i uh, gotten those before, they're pretty good. Um, let's see, then I think I have something stuffed in this. It's pretty heavy, I don't know. Oh yeah. Got this here. Got the uh, bipod. Uh, I know there's, I know I'm missing some. Oh, there it is. Yep. This one here. Like I said, I got a lot, I got, I got well, not a lot, but a, a bit of um, accessories that I'm going to be using on this gun that I haven't even gotten yet. And then uh, hopefully I haven't made a mistake, but I got this here. And um, this here will go, basically the uh, bottle, um, the, the tank, it's a 580 cc tank, has a barrel band on it. And on the bottom, in both sides, it has a, a Picatinny rail. And what I'm gonna do is place this one on the bottom rail, on the bottom uh, Picatinny rail, and it'll give it a little bit more length, which of course, this here will go on there somewhere, which will allow, um, I, I, I find it to be a uh, better stabilization is how I see it. It'll bring it further out so it's not sucked so close in. So I figured that's not a bad idea. So yeah, um, oh, and <laughs> don't want to forget this, yeah. Now, this scope isn't this one. This is just the box that I'm putting in, or maybe it is. Wait, hold on, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, this is this is correct box for it. All right, so got this scope here that I'm going to put on it. So I figured, you know, that's not a bad idea. I mean, yeah, sure, it's not the best scope in the world, but you know, I'm not trying to do any kind of competition or anything like that i'm just doing target shooting you know pretty close range you know 20 30 yards roughly give or take a little so this here will be plenty good enough so yeah 
that's what I've been up to and working on that stupid air conditioner. It's working now though, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right guys, so there we are. Want to show you guys what I'm up to and uh, the different uh, little things, you know, and all that and tools you know, and whatnot. So I want to show you that and uh, there you go. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment and I'll be talking to you guys really soon.